what is amazon api gateway amazon api gateway is an aws service for creating publishing maintaining monitoring and securing rest http and websocket apis at any scales api developers can create apis that access aws or other web services as well as data stored in the aws cloud api gateway act as the front door for the applications to access data functionalities business logics for our backend services api gateway creates restful apis that are http based that enable stateless client server communication and implements standard http methods such as get post put patch and delete hello everyone myself arup mitro in this video i will discuss how to integrate an aws lambda function from amazon api gateway in my last video i have described how to create an asp.net core api using visual studio and deploy into the aws lambda function if you have not seen this video i will mention the link of the video in the description box you can check later so if we just quickly show that what we have created as part of the aws lambda function and how the urls are opening for this function so we can see there is a function that is lambda function demo api if we click on it we can see the function url here so if we copy the function url and if we search it as slash api can see it's returning the welcome to aws lambda function also we can search the swagger so this lambda function have the swagger in a belt uh, who, who from where we can see the two apis are slash api and the slash weather forecast now in the in in real scenario usually like we don't want the lambda function will be exposed directly to the external client so it needs to be integrated with the amazon api gateway to do this we need to go to the aws console and if we search the api gateway and click on that it will open the default amazon api gateway page yes so in the left hand side we can see there are the three options apis custom domains and the vvc links and we can see api gateway offers couple of types of api let's http api which is a build a low latency and cost effective rest apis with built in features such as oidc and oauth2 and along with that native core support we can can build also the websocket api and we can create the rest api for develop a rest api where we gain complete control over the request and response along with the api management capabilities and another is that the private rest api so in this video i will discuss how to integrate aws lambda function from http api let's click on build now click on integrations in the add integrations from the drop down we will choose lambda because we wanted to integrate with the lambda now if we click on this checkbox i mean text box search box then we can see automatically my lambda function demo api arn has been populated so we need to select this and the version is 2.0 now let's choose a api name let's say lambda http api gateway and 
and click on next. In the resource path, we want that all of the action methods or the APIs needs to be exposed via this uh, API gateway. So that's why we will proxy through all the APIs so that we can maintain by the proxy plus within the curly brackets. And the method type we want that any method will be proxied through this Amazon API gateway. Then click on next. For the time beings, like I, I'll choose the default stage and this checkbox auto deploy will be enabled so that every time there will be any change, it will be automatically deployed into this stage. Then click on next. We can see the API name and integrations. We can see the rules. Let's click on create. So we can see the API Lambda has gateway has been created successfully. So now click on that URL, which is the Amazon API gateway URL. Then check the API endpoint is properly working or not. So we can see the API gateway has been successfully integrated with the AWS Lambda function. Now let's go to the Lambda function and refresh the lambda we should be able to see in the trigger the api gateway has been integrated properly so we can see that the lambda function has a trigger called the api gateway so if we come to the configuration and inside the triggers, we can see that the API gateway has been properly integrated. So if we open, if we click on the details, then we can see the API type is HTTP and the others resource path proxied through that has been properly mentioned here. Now, if we go to the permissions, then when actually we integrated the API gateway from this AWS Lambda, then we can see that already API gateway will or AWS Lambda should have a permission to integrate with each other. So we can see automatically a permission has been created. So that is API gateway that Amazon AWS.com. And it has been linked with the ARN and the action is lambda invoke function now if we want to see that if my api gateway is enabled to open the swagger or not to to enable the swagger already in my last video i have shown how to enable the swagger and we need to incorporate the environment variable that is uh, ASP.NET code underscore develop, uh, environment whose value is development. So if we go to the environment variables, we can see the ASP.NET code environment whose value has been set as a development. So that's why like we can we are able to open the swagger. And if we want to see the weather forecast, then click on try it out and click on execute. We can see the proper weather forecast re response is returned successfully. So that's pretty much for today. In the next video, I will create an AWS Lambda function from ASP.NET Core Web API that has been already created. Only I will convert that HTTP API to the REST API. And then I will integrate that AWS Lambda function from Amazon REST API. So if you like my video, please do like, share, and subscribe so that when I will publish a new video next time, then you will be automatically get a notification for my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.